and tell them let's make sure the heat was okay. uh, learning sponsors a year of learning friends of Marcy Kurtz in memory of her great niece Leia Bracha Isaac mm -hmm. and Evelyn Blachler in memory of his sister Chaya Rachel Bas Isser friends of Leonie Meiserman Leia Sabra Bas Chanuk two months of learning friends of Milton Meller in honor of his second bar mitzvah a month of learning, Ron and Susan Podolsky, in memory of his mother, Fredo Bashraga Feivel, Phyllis and Chaim Reese, in memory of her father, Pinchas Ben Abraham, Rabbi Dr. Yankee and Malka, Hon Malka Honig, in memory of his sister, Chava Bas Harav Simcha Ben Yomen, his brother, Tzvi Aaron Zeb Ben Harav Simcha Ben Yomen, his mm -hmm. father, Harav Simcha Ben Yomen Ben Harav Yitzchak, her mother, Sosa Bat Koina, B. Pizer, in memory of her sister, the Bas Abraham. Michal Levy. A week of learning by the family of Danny Shepotovsky, a memory of their father and grandfather, Daniel Ben Aaron David, Marsha Fried and family, a memory of Milton Yitzchak Mordechai Ben Abraham, Michael and Judith Peretzky, a memory of, it says, your brother. <laughs> it should say, either his brother or her brother. Yes. Uh, so he just changed it to a brother. Davina's sitting father's in What? Can he call it a brother? Father yeah. What? Yeah, I'm going to speak to the editor of the bullet. Okay. I think you have to be careful. You better be careful. What? You should be very careful about criticizing the editor of the bullet. Avram Ben Geshe, you'd be surprised. Okay, be surprised. Okay, today is the 25th, so we have no, uh, no, uh, uh, day of, no days of learning. Today. No, it wasn't the original <laughs> days of learning. May Shem have an Aliyah, Krenker, a few of the Yeshiva Shem Atuliyah, a couple of Israel, good group Yes, so that's why there's no day. I don't know how to come in today. Well, there was a minute on the night. The night. The night. The night. Right. You know why? You know why? Because the Goyim would go out and do pogroms. We're partying hardy. Pogroms. And may have. No, it was pogroms. It's First of all, it's really not. They, they no way they don't. That was just an arbitrary date because there was a true. Roman holiday. Right. The mm -hmm. it's, it, if you read their nonsense, it <laughs> says he was born in the spring. Okay. I will try to do the best I can with the DAF. I really want to appreciate uh, Michael's efforts over this past week and uh, Asher Hertzberg, who helped out. And uh, I think we found another fellow now who's willing to help out occasionally as well. It just is in the, in the community first year this year. Okay. Rabbi Shimon Green. Okay. Oh, with an E or without? Without. Oh, without an e. E. No, no relative whatsoever. He was, the, his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his father was Rabbi Jack. Yeah, Green. you're here in the old city Jack in a pulpit son? in Phoenix, Arizona. He just came here and moved here. Okay. Yeah. I think he knows a little Gemara. Oh, he may. No, he, uh, he, not, was a, he was a Rosh Yeshiva in Israel. Oh, well, then he. <laughs> I governed that Yeshiva. I yeah. stayed with him one job. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I, okay. okay, gentlemen, we're picking up. Okay, as we, I'm going to start. On the very bottom of Sama Hamad Bay's. Why am I not? Okay, all right. So what happens? Okay. All right, Mel, you've got to write the right safer. Okay. Here, Mel, take this. Oh, this one is small print. You have the big volume. Get it, you Trade with me. Mel, let me that to Mel. You don't have any old. We have no one It's not there. I wonder if somebody left it yesterday in the base medrash. Here, give him yours. You take mine. This is a large print. Okay. Or the largest, larger So we have two of them here. Right. So we have an attempt by Rav Ashi. Here is where we're going to pick up, where he tries to give an explanation 
of the question of Yom versus Kahayom or whether it's Yom Echad. Okay, that's that's the point. Okay, so Amar Ravashi Tashma, listen to the following bright. <laughs> says this following Mishnah is going to give us an answer. Okay, so he attempts to give the example of a vow taken that wine is forbidden to me and I taste it for this year. If the year is a leap year and has the extra month, it is prohibited for that year and the month that is included yes. as the leap month. Even if you made the okay. month the second hey, right. No matter when you made. Hey, Chidami, how is that possible? And now we move on okay. to today. Ilema, if we're going to say Kedikatani, the way it's taught, Lamali Lamemre. Why did we have to spell out? Why did Rav Ashi have to spell out the fact that it was both the year and the leap month? That's the question. Oh, wait, we'll see if it's obvious. Ella, rather, love the Amar Shana. Must it not have been then that when the person made their nether, instead of using the word Hashana or Shana Zot or something like that, he simply said the word Shana, year, or a year. Okay? Shana. Okay. Alma, therefore, that would seem to imply Shana. Kehashana. Then when he says a year, it's talking about the year. Yeah, the the so right? So that was right. And therefore, if that applies for the term year, Rav Ashi is going to carry it over to the example of yeah, yom. yom, Nami, Kahayom. That therefore, when the person says a day, he's implying Kehayom like today. Okay? Dine. That's what it law. That's what it should apply. Okay, Gemara answers. Lo, no, that's not the case. The olam de amar hashana. No, we're saying that when the person made his vow, he did use the word hashana, the year. Okay, and therefore umahu detema. So what then are you trying to tell us? Halach achar rov hashanim that he went and he had in mind. I'm going to use the word average year, a common year, okay? Velo it baho ibur. And he was not thinking of the year as it were a leap year with the added month, okay? Kamash malan. I therefore comes to tell us that the year then was a... Even if, okay? even if it is. Okay, I'm so the year pure. was a current year, a current calendar year, and therefore we do need to include the leap year. That's why Rav Ashi made the point, okay? So in other words, it was that current so calendar year. So it doesn't, but it doesn't give us the answer as to what we saw between Yom Hayom or Yom Echad, okay? All right, let's go on. We come up now to a new piece, Ibai Lahom. So again, they ask in the yeshiva, in the academy, Amar, the person making the vow may have said, Yayin Shani Toem Yovel, that the wine that I'll taste is forbidden to me, okay, like a Yovel, a jubilee year. What we need to remember, of course, is that not only in the Shemitah year was there no work on the land, but in the Yovel year also there was no working on the land, okay? And therefore, what happens when you have Shemitah, and then the very next year at the end of the cycle, after seven Shemitah cycles, the last year could be the Shemitah, and then the next could be the Yovel. You're going to have two years of, where, of, of no land working the land. Balance. Okay? That's the point to keep in mind <clears throat> as we go on. Right? Yeah, they were identical, the rules? Actually, not, using not, not exactly no. identical. In no. terms of farming, they were identical. okay, not were exactly right. identical. Shmita, you didn't blow shofars. Okay, no, Shmita, you did not blow shofar. Yovel, you blew shofar. That was one of the differences. The Yovel year was declared. 
by blowing shofar on Rush on Yom Kippur, Kippur exactly the way we still do on Yom Kippur. I mean, on, on so right between Mincha, uh, Shachris, and Musaf, right. they blew shofar on Yom Kippur, and that's how people knew it was a yo right. If they so didn't blow, it was when not it on a Shemitah year. Okay, so that was a, a clear difference. Okay, but in terms of, as Michael said, the agriculture. So they asked, what happens if the person said a jubilee year? A okay. jubilee cycle. Okay, my, what are we talking about? Shnat chamishim, okay, the 50th year, kilifne chamishim, okay, before the included. Okay, in other words, was it before and therefore included in the vow? Okay, klape chamishim, was it included in the vow? Oh, kila achar chamishim, or do we say that it was at the yovel was it's after the 50 the and was going to be the start of the new cycle? So that would imply that both that yovel could be not only yovel, but also the first year of the wow. next. Uh, seven year cycle. Okay, that's what we got. Zev, you all right there? Okay, Tashma, listen to the following text, all right? The Tanya, as we taught elsewhere, okay, Plugta, right? Plugta the Rabbi Yehuda the Rabbana, that this was an argument between Rabbi Yehuda and the rabbis. First of all, we cite a pasuk, the Kidash Tem et Shnat Hachamishim Shana. And it says you shall sanctify the 50th year. Okay? Shnat hachamishim atamone. Therefore, the 50th year you count. As number 50. Okay, so that would be clearly, it would be after seven cycles of seven years, you get to the 50th year, that would be the Yovel. Okay? What happens? Vi atamone shnat hachamishim ve'echat. But you do not count it as both the 50th year and the first year of the new cycle. Okay? That's what he's saying. Right? Right. That's the argument. Okay? So, in other words, the 50th would be of the old cycle, or is it plus number one of the new? Okay? Mikan Amru, from here they said, Yovel en ole leminyan shavua, that the minyan, the that the Yovel year is not included in the number, in the count of the new seven year cycle. That's what they're saying. Rabbi Yehuda Omer, this is Rabbi Yehuda in disagreement, Yovel Oleleminyan Shavuah, that the Yovel year does include, is included as the first year of the new seven year cycle. See, that's how we, uh, okay. how we behave. Okay, Amrulo, and they said to him, the Rabbi Yehuda, Arehu Omer, but there is another pasuk that says to us, Sheshanim Tizrasadech, that you shall work the land and plant, etc., for six years. Ve'en kan elechamesh. If that's the case, if you include Rabbi Yehuda, the Yovel year as its year and the first year of the cycle, what do you have left? You only have a certain number. Take two from the seven. Okay. No, take, yeah, take the two, two from, from the seven, seven, which only is going to give you five right. years. That's but the Pasuk that. says six, six years. years to work the land. Okay. All right. Ve'en kan elechamesh. That's why he says, if you're saying that the laws apply in regard to work. Well, Amar lehem. So Rabbi Yehuda responds. Even according to your count, to your way of deciding it, Harehu Omer, but the text of the Torah tells us another hashanim, that you should be able to work the land for three years, and those three years should carry you. The sixth year. Well, I get to it. Hold on. That well, you, you no work the work land, so you place. have three years, okay? And that three-year period is provided for right. by Over the previous years, years, okay? The previous year, 
so that you should cover, okay, number one, the Shemitah year, number two, the Yovil year, normal no, the 50th year, year the and year. then the next year. Normally, the Shemitah, the, you harvest at the end of the sixth year. Nothing is planted in the seventh. Mm -hmm. Right. So you have produce from six, six for seven. For seven. And now, then the, the Yovel. Of seven, then the Yovel was no, another no, year. No, no. Yovel's not part of this. The sixth year. Now the beginning of, uh, produces overabundance. Seven, you still have crops from, from six. six. Eight, where you first now planted. You have crops You from have six. crops left from six. six. So six. But that eight. only gives you two years. No, it off. gives you six, seven, and eight. The that's, year, that, that's for fulfilling the pasuk. You're right. Yeah, that's for, all. For, that's all we're talking for about. For fulfilling the pasuk. But if now no he's going to come back down, and argue. Then it. you have produce for six, seven, yovel, and eight. That's four. That's four. So, so, that's, 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 so all you've got a problem with the pasuk. Right. With, with my pasuk. Right. So what happens? It says that that produce from the sixth year should cover over the, a, a period of, of three years. years. Okay? Array Khan Arba. But if that's the case, then the problem is you that you've got four years left over. Okay? That you don't have crops. That you wouldn't have crops. Ela Ikala Akume, Shavua. But rather you must apply this. Okay, to the other years of the cycle. Okay, so six times you have six days. Right, six years. six years. So okay, Roba so Kakula, the pasuk is generalizing. It's not being specific. not being specific to the, that cycle. And in so his cases, answer is the same thing. Dili nami ikala okma b'shar shnei So my, so my answer pasuk, too was also I would apply the same year. thing to a normal year. That's his argument. So they argument. both have no proof. Right, so there is proof no proof, no pro proof at this point, and this whole argument, whether it's from Yovel, whether it's from Shana, as to how to apply it to our initial question, which was Yom, Yom Echad Hayom. Okay? All right, we now go on. <clears throat> oh, goodness. All right, I'm gonna speak down. Okay, next part from our Mishnah. Ad hapesach asur. Up till Passover, it is forbidden. Lememra, okay, the Rabbi Meir Sava. This seems to be telling us that Rabbi Meir must be of the following opinion. Lo ma'il imish nafshe. That a person doesn't place himself in an uncertain position. Okay, and we'll clarify what that means shortly. Okay, that's what he's saying. Okay, let's fake it right for that for the uncertain for the doubt. The Rabbi Yossi Savar, but it would seem to imply that Rabbi Yossi is of the opinion that a person might put himself in a questionable or uncertain position when he utters the vow. Okay, when the point is when the person has made this a certain vow or statement. Now, the Gemara picks up now, and it's going to give us a <laughs> rather interesting story. Or Minhe, okay, and we're now going to raise a contradiction based on a, another different Mishnah from Gemara Kedushin. Okay? Mi sheyeshlo shte kite banot mishte nashim. A man has, I'm going to say it this way, two sets of daughters, one set a, uh, from wife number one and one set from wife number two. So he has a total of four daughters, okay? A, B, C, D. A is the oldest of the older set. Then comes B, which is the younger of the older set. But older than Okay, the wait, wait, right. I'm, we're going to get to that. Now we get the following. Then he has C and D. C is the older of the younger set. D is the younger of the younger set. But, okay, but B, who's the younger of the older set, 
is still older than either C or D, and D is the youngest of all four. Okay? All right. Having said that now, we can go on. All right? Okay, so what happens? What does he say? Va'amar kidashti et biti hagadola. I arranged the marriage, uh, the Kedushin, right, for uh, my oldest daughter. Ve'eni yodea im gedola shebgedolot. But I don't know for sure whether I was, it was intending to do the oldest of the older set, im gedola shebgedolot, or the oldest of the younger set, ve'im katana shebgedolot. And as regards to the younger of the older set, shehi gedola, but she is older, mina gedola shebukatanot, older than the oldest of the younger set. So he's not sure which of the three possible girls he got. He, he the made one. the, all right, and whichever one is, of course, married is forbidden to he anyone else. Until she gets it right. Anymore. Okay. So what happens? Now, Kulan Asurot, Divrei Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Meir is now going to tell us the, I'm going to say A, B, and C are now unable to marry. Okay. And all right, so what happens? Chutz Katana Shabukatanot, with the exception of girl D. Okay. She's clearly not. Right. Bad. She's not intent. Rabbi Yossi Omer says, Rabbi Yossi. Kulan mutarot. They're all permitted to marry. Chutz min ha-gedola, sheba-gedolot, except for girl A, the first one. Okay, the oldest of the oldest set. Okay, now, Amar Rab, Rabbi Chanina bar Avdim. This statement of Rav Yossi okay. directly contradicts. Right, so what happens now, okay, what happens is Rabbi Yossi seems to hold that person does put themselves in, okay? That's not. That's not. Rabbi Yosefer, ma'ayel inish nafshe No, no, no. No, he yes, said regards to, to, to the original, original statement. Initial, but in now, the in this of, argument, he takes the opposite. Yes, position. It's the opposite so position. Okay? Okay? So there seems to be a different view as to who said what. Okay? Right? Between Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Yosef. Right now, Amar Rabbi Chanina Bar Abdimi, Amar Rab. He says in the name of Rab, Muchlefet mm Hashita. -hmm. No, he says switch it around. Okay. In other words, you have to switch the opinions as to who said what. Okay. Vahatani. And not only that, but we have a brighter. Other brighter. Okay. That's going to switch yet. Okay. That tells us as follows. Zehakla. When we have a situation where the time is clearly defined in terms of its duration, am I right? Okay, what? ad right? And he says, up to before, right? Rami Meir, Rabbi Meir Omer, ad say that Rabbi Meir is saying basically until the event ends, right? Rabbi Yossi Omer Ad Sheyagia. And Rabbi Yossi holds when it means Ad Lifnei until the event arrives. And that's the again, difference. Okay, which is again supports the suggestion that we have to change. But now we know what to change. To, change right, the Shito, and we have to change the language as to who takes which position in the Mishnah. Okay. All right. Having said that, we're now able to go to a new Mishnah, a new Matnita. Okay? Now, again, we're still dealing with time frames when the person makes the vow up to a certain point. Okay? And they're mm -hmm. defining it based on agricultural uh, situations, agricultural uh, harvests. Okay? If the person's vow says, Ad hakatsir, up to the grain harvest. Ad habatsir, up to the grape harvest. Ad hamasik, 
up to the olive harvest. Eno asur ela ad The vow is not, the prohibition in the vow is not active until one arrives to that and arrives. The prohibition ends and. when the harvest arrives. Okay. Yeah, it's up to the time of the harvest. Yeah, but you right. said begin. You said end. No, it ends. It's up to the prohibition is enforced. I, I'm not un, going to drink wine until the harvest. Until the harvest right. Depending time. which word I use, okay. which harvest. Zehakla. This is the rule. Kol shizmano kavua. Any situation where we say the time duration is set. Okay. All right. Va'amar ad shayagia. And he says, until it arrives, asur ad yagia. It is prohibited up till the time of the arrival. Amar, he says, ad shayahe. But what happens if he doesn't say ad shayagia? If he says the language of ad shayahe, until it, until that active event. Yeah, through, the best English translation would be through <clears throat> the heart. I mean, because otherwise that clarifies what we're talking about. Uh, I'm not ready to go there yet. Okay. Ad she until, okay, this uh, event. Until the harvest is. Until the harvest is. That I would, I, okay, I like that. Okay. Asur ad she say. That would tell us it is prohibited until the conclusion of the harvest. Okay. mano kavu. And where it's a situation where the time duration is not set, ben amar ad sheyehe, whether he says, okay, until this event is, ben amar ad sheyagia, or if he says, until the arrival of that situation, no asur el ad sheyagia, it is not prohibited until up to the time of the arrives. Up there. Now, what happens? Ad hakayitz. When we say up to the grain harvest, ad sheyehe hakayitz. Or he says, okay, for example, until there is Hayats the is a day. This is the grain harvest. No, hakayitz is fig harvest. Fig. You'll see. Keep yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, Katsir is grain harvest. Oh, right. Kayats is right. Kayats is, right. Kayats is, uh, uh, is fig. All right. Right. Opening. Yeah, okay. All right. Ad shiyat chilu ha'am lachnis bekalkalo. Okay. When it says up to the uh, fig harvest, it's until the people start bringing their fruit in baskets into their homes. Okay. Ad shiyat avor ha'kayats. If it says until the completion of the fig harvest, ad shiakpilu ha mikzaot. Okay, and both the sources I looked at explained it as until people start folding up their knives last, that are used to cut figs that are harvested and stored. Okay, now what happens? But some say. That oh, I know some say it's the mats that they use well, to, to dry in the forms right, for the harvest. Out on the mats right. dry. Okay, that was a second uh, shot. Okay, Vitana, which is even later. Okay, and the Gemara tells us, and we teach as follows: when we said the first example, Sheyehe Hakayets, until the uh, time of the fig harvest, Kalkalash Amru. When they talk about the baskets, kalkala shel te'enim, we're talking about baskets of dates, of figs, I'm sorry. Velo kalkala shel anavim, and not baskets of grapes. Why? Tanya, but we have a brighta that says as follows. Hanodermi perot hakayats, one who makes a vow, prohibiting them for themselves, fruit from the kayats here, which seems to imply harvest in general and not specifying whether it's fig or date, but, but we know it date or, or, or uh, grapes, hold on. 
there is okay we there is no prohibition except for the figs however rabbi shimon ben gamliel only he disagrees and what does he say anavim bechlal ta'ani that grapes are also included okay, in this phrase of Caius. Why? My Tama de Tanakam. What then is the reasoning of Tanakama? Kasava. Why? Because it's his view. Te'enim miktsatsan biyada. That figs are harvested or plucked by hand. One at a time. Okay. Anavim lo miktsatsan biyada. But grapes are not harvested usually, one I'm going to say, by hand. They're usually cut as a, as a cluster. However, we're going to just go on a little bit further. Why? Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel Savan. But Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel is of the opinion, Anavim Nami, that there are grapes that are also cut or uh, plucked individually. Ki mirdadan miktsatsan biyada. Because when they're dried out, then they have to be plucked by hand individually. Okay. And some of them, you, you, what happens is the grapes shrivel, so the sugar content is higher and it makes sweet wine. But mm -hmm. some of the grapes get moldy, so you have to pluck, pluck them, them individually okay. to get a good crop. All right, so we'll go over just a tiny bit. Aj yavor hakayats, aj yichpalu hamiktsa'ot. Okay, again, coming back to the fact until the harvest of the te'inim, of the figs is done, when they fold up their knives, okay? Tana, this is the bride, Tana's teaching, ad shiach pilu rov but rather teach it until the majority of uh, harvesters fold up their the knives. Very last guy. Right? Let's just go over a line or two. Tana, okay, huk palu rov hamuktsaot. If it's taught that you're saying that it's the majority of cutters, mutarot mishum gezel upturot min hamaasrot. Okay, then it is exempt from any question of uh, of uh, thievery because it's half gear at that point. Upturot min hamaasrot, and they are exempt from my throat and trauma. And we'll stop right there because then we pick up with the, another little story. Very good. Okay. Welcome. Yeah. Good to have you back. Right. So be careful about your late harvest grapes. Oh, yeah. That's really what I'm going to worry about. What? <laughs>